Hey guys, this is Cult of Sly, and today we're going to be showing you how to build one-way doors in Fortnite Creative. The first type of one-way door I have for you guys is really simple. You can use it with any door piece you want. Let's pick a door from a gallery. Okay, now that we have our door, let's just place it where we want it. And the next thing we're going to need is a lock device. When we place the lock device, make sure that it turns blue when it's affecting the door. All right, now let's take a look at the settings for it. Initial door position needs to be closed. Visible in game, that's up to you. Starts locked needs to be yes. Unlock when receiving from channel one. Lock when receiving from channel two. And also open when receiving from channel one and close when receiving from channel two. Now to make this door one way, we're going to need the trigger device. Okay, for the trigger settings, activating team any, triggered by player, that has to be on. Activate on game phase none, times can trigger infinite, no delay, no sound, or VFX. Visible in game needs to be no and receive damage while invisible, this has to be on take damage. Also enable that game start. And then for the settings, when triggered, transmit on channel one. And we resize it and put it in front of the door. Don't put it exactly in front of the door, give a little bit of space between the trigger and the door, like so. Now copy this trigger and we're gonna modify one setting only. When triggered, transmit on channel 2. Now we take this trigger, put it behind the door where we want it to be one way. And just like before, put it a little bit ahead of the door, not right up against it. Perfect. Now let's try that out in game. Alright, we approach the door and it says locked, but we take one step closer and it opens up. And then when we walk through it, it closes behind us and it's locked and we cannot open it. The next way to do a one-way door is going to use the timer device, but first we're going to make a slightly fancier door from this piece from the military gallery. First we're going to resize it to occupy the whole door. Like so. And then just like before we're going to grab a lock device and attach it to the door. For this, we can actually use the exact same lock device that we did before. And those settings, just to remind you, unlock when receiving from channel one, lock when receiving from channel two, and then open and close when receiving from those same channels. Now, we're gonna use a timer device instead of a trigger. The timer device has a lot of settings. We're gonna go over all of them, so just bear with me. Start when round starts, no. Time, bring that down to like two or three seconds. Hologram until activated, no. Visible in game, I'm gonna leave this as yes so you guys can see it, but that's up to you. Countdown visible on HUD, no. Completion behavior, reset. Urgency mode disabled. Start team none. Stop team none. Restart team none as well keep going down now here's where we get to the channels the most important part start when receiving from channel one and then keep going down when completed transmit on channel two functions are set up for the door now we just need an activating mechanism we only need one though unlike before so we can use the trigger device the exact same one before or we can use a button All right, the settings for the button will be as follows. Interact time, instant. Times can trigger infinite, no delay, no sound. Enable the game start. Visible during games, yes. And then when interacted with, transmit on channel one. All right, that's it. 
Now when the game starts, if we either hit this trigger, it'll open the door and we can go through, we have two seconds, or we can hit the button. Now let's do it with the button. All right, there you have it. You wouldn't want to use the button and the trigger, use one or the other. All right, guys, for the third way to do a one-way door, we're gonna grab the door that we had before, and this door is going to work for one team, but not the other. So for this example, we're gonna say any team can go through the door, but only people on team one can come back through. So just like before, we're gonna need that same lock device, very simple. And then we're going to be using triggers for this as well. All right, let's go over the settings again for the trigger. Activating team any, because any team is going to go through the door. Triggered by player on. Times can trigger infinite. No delay. No sound. Visible in game off. Receive damage while invisible. Make sure that's on take damage. Then, when triggered, transmit on channel one, because that's going to unlock the door. Now grab a copy of this trigger, change when triggered, transmit on, to channel two. And then put it behind the first trigger, like so. I'll explain why in a second. Now, copy this trigger that unlocks the door on channel one, and then we're gonna make it only apply to team one. Activating team, team one. And then put it snug up against the door, like so. And then we're gonna copy the transmit on channel two trigger, which closes the door. And this one, we're gonna leave it as any. The reason we have two sets of triggers is because let's say I'm on team one or any team. I step on this trigger, it's going to close the door, even though it'll already be locked. And then I hit this one, it'll open the door. I hit this one, which opens the door, but it only applies to team one. And then this one, which closes it. So I'm hitting all of them, but it doesn't seem like it. Let's see what it looks like in game. All right, now that we're in game, let's check it out. I'm on team one. I approach the door, it unlocks, and then locks behind me. But because I'm on team one, I can come back through and open it again. Now let's try it on team two. Now I've respawned as team two, and it's gonna let me through and close behind me. But when I try to come back through, it's not gonna work because I'm on team two. The final example of a one-way door I have for you guys is with no physical door piece at all. So let's take this for example as a drop, which is kind of a one way right now because you can't get back up. But let's say you wanted to have pieces in your map or any sort of decoration where you feared players could climb their way back up. The first thing we're gonna need for this is a barrier device. Make the enable during phase all Block weapon fire, that is totally up to you. I'm gonna go with no. Barrier depth, make that skinny and put it right in the doorway. Make the barrier style whatever you want if you want the players to see through it or not. Enable when receiving from channel two and disable when receiving from channel one. Next thing we need to make this example work is a timer device. We get it from the devices gallery. Because it has so many settings, I'm just gonna go over the modified settings. The time is three seconds, hologram until activated, no, countdown visible, no, completion behavior needs to be at reset, and then all the other settings and sounds can be disabled. Start when receiving from channel one, and when completed, transmit on channel two. The last thing we need to make this work is a trigger. We can use the exact same trigger that we used in the original example. This trigger is only triggered by players, and it sends out a signal on channel one. 
When triggered, transmit on channel one. Visible in game, no. No sounds. Triggered by players. That's it. Now this door should work. Let's try it out. Alright. Step on the trigger. The barrier is disabled. And then after three seconds, the barrier pops back up. One more thing I forgot to mention for this example, we can make the door visually one way by using a billboard piece. Make the sample text like a period, background color, whatever color you want, probably black. And then we're going to resize it to fill the door. You can't see the billboard when you're coming through on this side you can on this side so it looks like a one way that's it for this fortnite creative tutorial i hope you guys got some value out of it and now you know all about how to do different one-way doors in fortnite creative remember to like and subscribe for more content like this